I asked on my social network so many of you use this feature in your day to day and I confess that I was quite surprised to know that many of you are not even aware that this feature exists and likely you have access to it in your IDE either if you are using JetBrains Rider or Visual Studio likely you have access to it and let me tell you that it's something that is super useful so we are talking about something that on JetBrains Rider the name is continuous testing on Visual Studio is live unit testing, but if you have used tools like NCrunch, you know what I'm talking about. So let me show you this in action. I will show you this feature on JetBrains Rider because it's the IDE that I normally use. However, if you are a Visual Studio user, check if you have access to live unit testing. If you have access to NCrunch, you will have the same feature as well. So the way that you use it might be slightly different, especially to enable it, to activate. However, the idea is the same, and I think that you will like what you will see here. So what do I have here? I have a simple class that is converting Fahrenheit to Celsius and the other way around as well. So, and I also have here some tests that if I run them, they succeed, so everything is fine. The thing is, when I'm in the middle of a, a cycle, when I'm writing tests, writing code, adjusting the code, refactoring the code, I then need to go back to my tests and rerun them to check if my changes had impacts or not, if they broke the tests or not. So if you think about a cycle like in a TDD cycle where you are quite fast and you are in a refactoring stage and you want to make sure that you keep the tests green, it's a lot of work to keep rerunning the tests. And your IDE can use this feature of continuous testing or live unit testing to do that for you. So let's take a look as an example here on Rider. What I can do is that I can enable continuous testing. For that, I will go to my settings and I can decide if I want to run the continuous testing on build, on save, or on both. By doing so, once I save it, now I can go to my tests. Let me move this to the right. And now the next thing that we want to do is go to your test window and you will find there an option to start the testing mode so the continuous testing modes and there I can take multiple decisions for example run all tests when we either save or we build or for example cover new and outdated tests that is quite interesting because if you have a huge project you don't need to be rerunning tests that likely were not impacted so if I do for example the run all tests what will then happen is that you will notice here on the right, once I go into my tests and let's say that I change this five by four, notice that the tests executed again and one of them failed this one because I changed that thing. But for example, if I'm doing a rollback, it goes back to green. If I'm in the middle of a refactoring, let's say that I want to extract this to a variable, it reruns the tests again, is still green. So you can see the advantage of it. I don't need to be always triggering the, the test run, you can do that for you. What if you want to focus in a specific subset of your tests? Can you do it? Yes, you can. For example, I will turn off this testing session and I will pick this test, for example, the Fahrenheit to Celsius, and I will create a new testing session, okay? that will create a new tab and inside of that tab is only that test so now i can say for this type of tests let's cover new and outdated tests it will first do an execution to make sure the current state and then if i go back here and let's say that i want to move this to inline refactor this inline variable will save and the test will execute once again but only that subset what is useful when you have a huge code base with a lot of tests. So now you know it, and I would love that you try it next time you are building tests. So what do you say about this feature? Is something that you see yourself using? Have you been using this type of feature? Please leave a comment saying if you are using it or not, which IDE are you using nowadays, or if you want to try it. Thank you for watching, and now I think you will like to watch this video right here.